Hello love viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be presenting to you the WASI 2023 Summary Marking Scheme. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. The West African Examination Council Summary Test will consist of one prose passage with at least 500 words. Candidates will be required to spend about 40 minutes on this section. All questions must be answered for 30 marks. The following shall be used in scoring candidates. Zero shall be awarded to candidates who engage in mindless lifting. Mindless lifting is not allowed in summary writing. What every examiner expects from you is to present your answers in your own words. Zero shall be awarded to candidates who copy word for word from the passage and present them as answers to the summary questions. Candidates should always remember that the summary passage is meant to test your understanding of the ideas presented in the passage and not to reproduce exactly what you have read from the passage. Zero shall be awarded to candidates who change or replace the words that are part of the core meaning of the passage. In an attempt to write your answers in your own words, do not replace or change words that are part of the core meaning of the passage. Once you do this, it is assumed that the candidate has deviated. For instance, if the core idea of a passage is technology, do not change or replace technology with the word computer because those two are not synonyms. The question will inform you of the core ideas in the passage. For instance, if a question says, in three sentences, one for each, summarize the importance of democracy. The core idea here is democracy, and candidates are not expected to replace or change the word democracy since it is a central tendency around which all the ideas in the passage evolve. Once again, don't replace words that are part of the core meaning of the passage. One mark shall be deducted from each scoring point if it contains errors of grammar, spelling, or punctuation. Candidates are advised to take their time when writing out their answers. Always make sure your answers are free from errors of grammar, spelling, or punctuation. Read your answers over and over again to make sure that everything is correct. Zero shall be awarded to candidates who present phrases as answers to summary questions. Presenting phrases as answers to summary questions is a clear violation of examination instructions which directs you to present your answers in sentences. The answers you present should make a complete thought or express a complete idea. Also, candidates are expected to express each answer in one sentence or zero shall be awarded to such candidates. Again, do not write or lump two scoring points into one. Candidates are expected to provide the required number of answers. Candidates are expected to answer all the questions correctly for 30 marks, nothing more, nothing less. Providing less than the required number of answers means that the candidates will lose marks for the answers he or she left out. Providing more than the required number of answers does not in any way mean that the candidate is intelligent. It only means that you don't read or don't obey instructions. When you're asked to provide four answers and you provide five and one of them is wrong, it will still be deducted from your score even though the other four are correct. So please, provide the required number of answers and number them accordingly. Zero shall be awarded to candidates who provide answers that are not found in the original text. Candidates should note that any additional material or information outside what is found in the main text will be awarded zero. It doesn't matter what you know about the topic from which the passage was taken from. All your answers should come from the passage. You are not expected to provide or present your own opinion, interpretations, comments, and deductions as answers to summary questions. All the answers you present must be in the passage. 
but do not copy word from word for the examiner. Lastly, marks will be deducted or zero shall be awarded to candidates depending on what they present as answers to summary questions. Answers to summary questions must be brief, concise, and meaningful. Candidates are expected to pick out only the main ideas from the passage, leaving out any details, including examples and illustrations. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.